So what does an exponential graph look like? So let's look at a, a, a basic exponential function, base two, two of x. So we can plot some points and get a sense of what these values are. So if x were negative three, f of x, two to the negative third, and remember how to do a two to the negative third? That's one over two to the third, which equals one over eight. Let's plug some other values in. Negative two makes this a one fourth. A one makes it two to the, whoops, sorry, two to the negative one makes it a one half. Zero, anything to the zero power was a one. And let's do the likewise, let's do one, two, and three as well. Run out of room here, folks, sorry. One makes it a two. Two to the second is a four. And, th and two to the third is an eight. So again, choose some points. I always like to choose zero and values close to zero. What do these values look like then? So we're here to plot these. So at negative three, one, two, and three, I'm at one eighth. At negative two, I'm at one fourth. At negative one, I'm at one half. At zero, my value is one. At one, my value is two. At two, my value is four. And at three, my value is at eight. And if we were to graph that in a nice, smooth, continuous line, I get an exponential graph looking like that. And I refer to them as an airplane taking off. Notice a couple of other things about this. As I go further and further towards negative infinity, this value approaches the horizontal asim or horizontal line x equals zero, or y equals zero, the x-axis asymptotically, meaning it's not gonna touch or cross. But there's also notice something that at some point in time, the growth is so slow, you may not notice that it's growing exponentially at all until it gets to some dramatic change, some dramatic tipping point that happens. And so this is what a typical um, exponential graph will look like. An airplane taking off.